Good morning, it's Peter with the Garden Family and I am in my Southwest Ohio Zone 6B garden. It is the end of May and I wanted to show you a little experiment we've been doing. We grew five different kinds of broccoli, four different kinds of cauliflower, and I wanted to compare the varieties to show which one worked best in our Ohio climate. All right, before we get into the varieties, I just wanted to talk about how this spring has been for us. Our continental climate is really not ideal for brassica plants, which like consistent cool weather, but this spring has been unusually warm even for us. We went from very, very cold in early to mid April to basically 80 degrees and never turned back the end of April. And what you're gonna see with the brassica plants, the broccoli and the cauliflower is they have headed about two weeks early. A lot of them have bolted and that just is something you have to deal with when growing broccoli in our climate. Another thing you're gonna see on our beds is that all of them have these EMT conduit hoops that have row covers. I just took the frost cloth and insect netting off, but protecting your brassicas is pretty important, especially if you don't want to spray anything on them, which we never want to do. All right, let's talk about the five different types of broccoli first. So let's start with the good. If we come over here, this variety here is called purple magic and it is just this beautiful purple color and despite all of the heat we've kept some pretty nice tight heads here these are just about ready to harvest but they've resisted a lot of the heat so i haven't eaten them yet so i can't tell you about the taste but so far i really really like how these are growing and how they've kind of rolled with the punches with the really hot spring that we've had all right, probably the worst of the five varieties that we grew, this is Sun King. Ironically, even though it's called Sun King, it did not do very well in the heat, and it was the first to bolt. We did get a small harvest off of these. You can see here where that head was cut, and then these are just some of the side shoots that we didn't harvest. We're just going to allow those to go to flower, take the row covers off so the pollinators can come in. The next variety that formed a head the soonest, which is often not a good thing, was Gurney's Blue Ribbon. Now, despite forming a head really early, it actually formed a relatively decent size head. So it was very early to form a head, and that might make it a really good candidate for a fall-grown broccoli because one of the things we deal with in the fall is just the ensuing shorter day length and cold. And so if we can get a nice head to form sooner, so we'll probably try this one again in the fall. But overall, I would say it didn't perform that well for a spring broccoli here in Ohio. Variety number three, this is green magic. So we had purple magic, now we have green magic. And green magic has actually done pretty well. You can see we're just a little late to harvest these. A lot of that is that we really shouldn't be harvesting these until June, but because it's been so warm, they are forming heads really, really early. Um, but this is still a decently tight head. You can see, you know, pretty good foliage here. And so uh, I'm pretty happy with green magic for a spring variety. All right, last variety that we grew, this one is called Emerald Crown. And I think it's actually of the green varieties resisted bolting the most. The head's not huge, but it is a pretty nicely formed head. So I would say of the five varieties in the spring, the top three were the green and purple magic and the emerald crown, the sun king. I don't think I'd ever grow that one again. I don't even think I'm gonna try it in the fall. Um, the Gurney's Blue Ribbon, however, I think that could be a good fall broccoli. And I'll repeat this experiment in the fall and give you guys an update then. So for cauliflower, it's actually done slightly better than the broccoli. We grew four different types. Let me show you which types we've grown and how they're doing. So for our white cauliflower, this variety is amazing cauliflower. We actually grew this last year in the fall and we're very happy with it. 
really happy with it in the spring too. If you just look at this head, it is a nice, pretty big head of white cauliflower, pretty tight as far as the head goes. So this is just about ready to harvest as well. And the other thing I like about it is, you know, the plant is pretty compact for how big the head is. So it means probably we'll be able to have pretty good spacing if we grow this one again. All right, here's another white variety. And this one is confusing to me. This variety is called early white hybrid. And ironically, it is the only variety that has not formed a cauliflower head yet. One thing that is very promising about this one is just look how much vegetative growth is on this plant. So all the other plants are relatively small and this one has these big massive leaves. And that's usually a good sign as far as forming a large head of cauliflower is just having a big plant before it starts making the flower. So I'm not sure why this one's called early uh, because I thought it would be the first one to form a head. It is the only one that has not formed a head, but it's definitely been resistant to the heat, which is great for us. And I'm excited to see what this will look like when it actually forms the white head of cauliflower. All right, new variety for us. This is an orange or yellow variety called clementine. And so far we've been pretty happy with it. Small plants, but a pretty nice cauliflower head. These honestly should have been harvested probably five-ish days ago. One thing we did notice that despite the netting, there was some sort of butterfly in here and you can see these little worms. That's what we're trying to prevent. Uh, but luckily we're about ready to harvest so it shouldn't affect our harvest too much. But the clementine variety, it's very striking, very pretty color. Um, and so we're excited, probably would grow this one again just for the ornamental value and to go with our favorite from last year, which is the lavender. And we're gonna talk about that one now. All right, last of the four varieties. This variety is called lavender. We grew it last year. We're incredibly happy with it, both in spring and in fall. It's done well again, despite this incredibly warm spring that we've had. Let me show you just how pretty this cauliflower is. Just this beautiful purple color. The plants, grow relatively small, but then produce a really nice head of cauliflower. And like I said, it has been in the 80s for almost a whole month. And we haven't had any bolting, it's done pretty well. We've had shade cloth on there, um, but uh, really, really happy with that. And so definitely one that we will grow again. In fact, I think the three that actually have heads, Amazing, Clementine, and Lavender, I've all been really happy with them. And I'm excited to see what the early white hybrid turns into with as much uh, foliage growth that it has. All right, as you saw, a lot of these are ready to harvest, so let's get some harvested, and then we'll close the video with that. All right, this variety is Green Magic. I'm just gonna come in here and cut the stock off. Please. And there's that one. Pretty nice head, probably could have been harvested about five days ago, but it's gonna taste wonderful. I don't have anything to succession plant in these right away. So I'm actually just gonna let these plants grow some side shoots. Um, but the other option would be to just take them out, compost them and put a summer plant in its place. All right, I think I can let the Purple Magic and the Emerald Crown go just a little bit longer. And then some of these other ones that have really opened up and started to flower, I'm just gonna let them uh, go to flower and let the pollinators go. But let's go ahead and get some cauliflower. All right, let's get this amazing cauliflower. That's the variety, but it also is pretty amazing. Cauliflower side shoots don't really happen quite as much 
as broccoli, so I tend to just take the whole plant out, but look how beautiful that is. So when you're harvesting either broccoli or cauliflower, what you're really looking for is a tight head. If we come in here, we can start seeing the flowers starting to open up a little bit here. And no matter what size the head is, when this is happening, you have to pick it. It's never gonna get bigger than that. So a lot of people, the mistake they'll make is they'll say, oh, well, it's still really small. So I'm just gonna leave it on there until it gets bigger because I'm used to supermarket um, broccoli cauliflower. Um, but once it starts opening up like this, it's ready to harvest. That's why I'm getting this one out. Um, and they do stay in the fridge for a pretty long time. So you're better getting them off and into the cold than um, leaving them on and letting them bolt. All right, I think that'll probably hold us for a little while. So we got some heads of broccoli white and yellow slash orange cauliflower. I'm gonna leave the purple cauliflower on a little bit longer. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are not a subscriber, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and followed along. Happy gardening, everyone.